Hello and back to all of my beast today we're back with the second and it is somehow only now that I've noticed that this man actually really is just sleeping on top of books. Anyways, I'm gonna keep it short again because first off, shift tomorrow. Second off, I've just really started to like get a bit more enjoyable out of these more short form videos these past few days. I don't know why. Anyways, well, also for warn y'alls that it feels like I'm slowly but surely getting an inflammation in this ear, the left ear. So I hope it doesn't get worse, but uh, if it does, then I might have to sit out recording for a little bit at some point. Anyways, all right, better make haste to what it needs what needs to be done this is my duty as acting manager I'll probably be fine I don't want to have to manage I don't have any time to spare this day is far far from over I'll have to write the rest of what happens in the diary when I get back the right of departure is simply too important for me to ignore I need this 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 Oh, this might come in handy too. I might be a little heavy, but I'll just have to bear with that. With that, find everything about the around the office that looks like it might be useful, and pack it all into our rucksack. Okay, I think we're good to go. After finish, uh, after I finish packing everything, I hoist the rucksack up on up onto my back. Not as heavy than anticipated. I really should remove a few things. Yuma, さっきからああでもないこうでもないって。減らしたり増やしたりの繰り返しじゃないか。霧がないぞ。I I wish I had a good grasp of everything I need, but I don't. Try to make, take extra precautions. Unlike Shigeru, I don't have any sort of mystical power that can traverse across worlds and find lost items. Nor do I have the knowledge and awareness to compensate for that. That is why I need to become as fully prepared as I possibly can. Can't forget, I only managed to take out that fiend through dumb luck. This was, more, this was nothing more than a string of coincidences that happened to play out in my favor. All honest, in all honesty, I'm terribly nervous and afraid. By the departure. <clears throat> Under normal circumstances, this job would fall under Shigure's purview. Him being the manager of the Arashima Do Arashiyama Hall. And I have no doubt that the sender of this letter is hoping for him to be the one who comes. But he isn't here at the moment. He's gone, and unfortunately, I can't just sit here grumbling and cursing my misfortune. Can't help but question whether or not I'm qualified to do this, though. The ceremony is a sacred tradition. It must be done without error. But am I capable of that without relying on fortune's favor? Yuma, it's my fainting nod, reassuring the worried Shinku with a thanks, but I'm alright. Well. As it stands, she goes away. I don't know his whereabouts either, so I can't contact them. I'll just have to. Dakara, Yuma ga kawari o tsutomeru hoka ni nai. Exactly. I decided to keep everything I have against my initial judgment. So what if my rucksack is a little on the heavy side? I'll never be too prepared. All right. I'll sling the rucksack, packed with anything and everything I could f find, or up onto my back. The letter from the raw eight in my hand, I uh, took a deep breath and then prepared to set out. So da Yuma Darekani Tetsate Murano Adoda She holds a finger in the air as she voices her suggestion. It's kind of a hard gesture a person makes when they've stumbled upon something truly clever. I think you think I could should ask someone for help? Mm. To help me? Konogishki wa Nagachoba to Narashi. Sorini, Korekara no Tabijiwa. 
決して楽なものばかりとは言えないだろう一人では何かと辛いこともあるかもしれないそう考えると不安じゃないか yes, I am. 悔しいけれど、hmm. 本当は私が手伝ってやれればいいんだろうけどでも何かあった時肉体を持たない私じゃ実際に手を貸してやることができないだからユーマをサポートしてくれる誰か直接的に手を貸してくれる誰かを探してみないか like、この場合の適任はそうだなあの幼馴染みキサラギミオワイマノは今のところ異界のことについてはあまり話せない状況だ。Yeah, so she's out. Not a decision that requires much thought. Can't take her to one of the parallel worlds. As simple as that. Kyoa. Waringa, no koga yakuni tasto, a moinai. Taidok tek no mundai de. Yeah, you're right. I feel bad saying this about her, but what you said is 100% true. Yuma no shisho ni kashtewa. Chikara o kashte kreru nara. Kore ijo no joroku wa nai da ro to a moa. Yeah, besides, yeah, besides, she's probably reading right now, which means nothing I can do will convince her to go. So, Suzu's a no go as well. Yeah, I'm sure she's trying to convince her. いざという時に頼りになる。Yeah, I could definitely see him being helpful, but I'll have to pass on. どうした ？I don't know. Part of me just feels like he wouldn't be a good choice because of his lack of familiarity with the parallel worlds. So you've asked him to come along. At first, have to start from the very beginning, give him a rundown everything about the basement, the parallel worlds. I just don't have the time for that. そうか。それじゃ結局一人しか残らないんじゃないのかな。Yeah, one person indeed. Carefully walk down the stairs leading to the basement area. Hey, Kana. Hi. No, it doesn't make much sense to you for me to be saying this since I asked you, but、uh, you don't have to come along if you don't want to. Hey, yeah, money だなんてそんなこと大丈夫です。全然問題ありません。So she says. Glad to see her wearily rubbing her eyes. Open the door, anxious as to whether she's go truly going to be all right. 旦那様の頼みとあれば、たとえそこに行く文化の無理があったとしても、うなずかないわけにはいきませんから。So saying you'd rather not do this then? I, you could, I could clearly tell you're tired. I need someone to help me perform this ceremony. I need someone to spell this trepidation I'm feeling. With that in mind, I knocked on the door to room 101, hoping to ask Connor to do it, as she was in the best position to help me without requiring a lengthy explanation. I appeared to have caught her just before she was going to go to bed.、Uh, he gingerly asked. Cheeks flushed. No, not quite. Sorry, I know it's late, but I have some I'd like your help with. g a v e her a quick summary of the current situation. Then, not a second later, thereafter, she rubbed her eyes sleepily and agreed to come without a second thought. And I can tell even now that she is very much struggling to keep herself awake. You really don't have to come with me if you're that sleepy. That crud my rucksack stuck on the door and I won't come loose. So, no, Gishki to a Kuashku Nani or Sulu Monona no Kawakari Masenkedo. Konani Taksan Nimotsu Tsumekomu Kara desio. She gives me a forceful push from behind and I stagger forward into the basement. Thanks. She's already helped me out. You saved me there. Yeah, yeah. Korekurai Nandamu Nai desio. Smiles sweetly. Eh, to. s k o s h i b a k a r i o h a n a s h i o s e r i s a s e t e k u d a s a i Nani o s h i n i s h o n i n o m a c h e k n o d e s h t a k e She hangs her head to the side, her eyes still half open. Tamatama? No, and it feels like you're belittling our actual objective by saying that. So this c a l I'm going there for the right to departure. Listen, God, I know I've asked you a million times, but are you sure you're not too sleepy? そんなことはありませんといえばそのように見えてしまうのはそれはきっと何かの気の迷いです 
you're flying, man. Your mind playing tricks on me, what? Oh, uh, right. So very confused, but decided to nod along anyway. I'm gonna touch the second hand on the grandfather clock and set it to the time two o'clock forty-five minutes. Please, please stay on guard, Bell. I know this might sound a bit impertinent coming from the person who asked for your help, but keep in mind, you're not going there to fool around. Like I said, you're going to be performing a very sacred ceremony. Well, more accurately, we're going to be assisting you then. I just want you to pr promise me, if you ever get to a point where you feel you can't go on, please tell me. I really don't want to inconvenience them with any mistakes along the way. Yes, I Gives her head a quick shake, then gives her cheeks a strong smack. Right. I'm not being pretty fuzzy in demanding it with you, but I really do appreciate you coming with me. Thanks. Alright, thanks again, really. The clock chimes twice, the, signal, uh, the signals that the door has been connected. To be told, I've helped Chigo to do the ceremony once before, but this will be my first time trying it alone. So you coming along really helps ease my nerves. Seriously, I'm really glad to have your company. Proceed to open the basement door. Bodge, you've taken so long. We're currently, we're currently standing in front of the dimensional gate to the edge of town. From a quick glance, all of the townspeople appear to have gathered here. Beyond this gate lies the next world in our journey. Shigure wasn't able to come, so we're here to help with the ceremony in his stead. Thank you. The, towns, the townsperson, wearing an old, mas old man mask, one holding a paper lantern, steps forward as a representative to welcome us. Of course, it's my pleasure to act as the ferryman for this year's ceremony. I could bow and extend out the letter I'd received. You greatly helped us with the fiend when the fiend attacks, and I know we can count on you to successfully deliver her soul. The spirit behind the mask slides the letter in his sleeve. I can't help but wonder if he's disappointed that I was the one to come instead of Shigure. Perhaps he truly is relieved and believes I'm equally quite capable. I, can tell, I can't tell him which it is. The mask hides whatever expression he's making beneath it. Please. Please deliver Haku's soul safely to God. What? He has been chosen as this year's sacrifice. I look to the crowd of spirits standing before me. Each and every one of them wears a somber expression. Haku was chosen. People begin to clamor as they speak those words. We then clear a path, revealing a mother and her child. Yuma Though her lips curve into a smile, her eyes seem empty. I can't see the color in her, of her irises as I can't even see the color of her irises as reflected by the light. Hakua, I can't believe you were the one chosen. Ren holds onto her mother's hand as she stares at the ground in solemn silence. Kana's eye, Aunt Kana eyes her worryingly. After Haku finishes speaking, Ren pulls a lone feather from her pouch and hands it to me. Okay, let's go. I'll take the feather. I like the snow white fe feathers which fall from the sky, and this feather sparkles and glimmers like gold. It gives off a strong radiant sheen, you'd almost think it fell from the sun itself. Nice. I stow the golden feather into a lantern, which I pull from my bag. We're all praying for your self tra safe travels. The spirit of the old, in the old man mask, bids us farewell on our journey. Do not worry, Haku. We'll all take good care of Ren for you. Eh? 
あっちのためにも皆さんのためにも必ずやお勤めを果たしてみせます Silence befalls all the spirits gathered cease talking all at once heavy somber mood hangs over the air All right, shall we go, Haku? I can't allow myself to give in to my personal emotions and reservations. This is my job, and I must do it. Without further ado, I push open the dimensional gate. Loud creaking noise is produced as I do so. Still, I'm, I'm gonna still gonna need a fucking explanation. You've left the town. Right of us lies a single small dirt path which runs in a straight line as far as the eye can see. The moon, it, its crimson glow, coats the night sky in a deep shade of red. From within the thick groves of trees on either side of us, we hear the faint hoots of owls and the incessant chirping of insects. <laughs> Yeah, well, I stuffed the rucksack on my back. Still need my mind to prepare for a long journey ahead of for the long journey ahead of us. All right, follow after me and watch your footing, everyone. Hold up the bright lantern to illuminate the pitch dark path ahead and begin to lead the way. The colored light of the moon hanging in the night sky appears so eerie and ominous. Apart from it, the sky is barren. Not a single star dots the black canvas. Suddenly, Kana walks beside me, raises her voice timidly. Yuma, san, soro soro oshiete moratte mo ii desu ka? Hmm. Mitama okuri. Kore wa ittai dou itta gishiki na no deshou ka? Saki hodo atsumatte ita machi no kata tachi wa mina san shizunda kao nasatte imashita. Nani ka amari kangei sarete iru yona huenki dewa nai yo ni omoe mashita. Yeah, you're right about that. Atashi wa... ユーマさん、私は一体何をお手伝いすればいいんでしょうか。異界のお仕事を手伝ってほしいと。ただそれだけを言われてついてきましたけど。だけど私はまだ何も詳しいことを教えてもらっていないので。だから何がどうなっている
ただお盆や百物語が何かを迎えたり呼んだりするものであるのに対して御霊送りはそれとは全くの逆で何かをあちら側へ送るということになっているのですが私たちはお盆はやりますけど百物語は誰もがやるものではありませんよあそうなのですか人というものは誰もが進んで怪しげなことをするものだと思っていましたが<笑>すみませんこれは人の見方を改めないといけませんねそれは人それぞれだと思いますけどそうなのですかともかくこの習慣がいつできたのか確実なそれを知るのはあの町で暮らす者たちの中には誰一人としていないのですなのであまり細部にわたっての説明をさせていただくことができないのが残念なのですがそれだけ長い間続いてきたものであるということだけは確かなようですですがこの習慣には古くから言い伝えられてきた規則とはっきりとした特徴があります規則と特徴毎年この時期になると神様に選ばれたたった一人が必ずあちら側へ呼ばれることになっていますそれは私たちの町に限らずその他たくさんの世界で続いている現象ですそういった各世界では異常だとか混乱だとかそう呼ばれキーされている場合が多いと聞きますその現象を私たちの世界では「御霊送り」と呼んでいますがその呼び名も認識も取り扱い方も各世界で異なるということなんです神様から選ばれた事実を受け入れられずに逃げ出そうとする者たちそもそもくだらない思い込みだと放っておく者たち私たちのように自ら進んで命を捧げようと考える者たち命をその対応にもいろいろとあるのですその世界その世界で特別に進化した規則や風習などといったものがそのあちら側というのはそれはどこですかユマさんのお仕事のあちら側とはこの場合は異なるのでしょうかうんそうですね私たちの捉えるあちら側とはあえて言うならあの世とか天国とかもしかしたら地獄かもしれませんねとにかくそういった死後の世界のことですそのために神様の待つ約束の場所へ無事たどり着くことが選ばれた者の,の使命でありこの儀式の目的ですユマさん奥さんが言うのは以前に説明してもらった最果ての古書店と同じものだと考えていいんでしょうか、mm -hmm. I think it is in this case. But this time we're not To escort her to the designated location where she'll then, off where she'll then offer forth her life to the beyond. The promised land she refers to is simply another name for the designated location. It goes out of town's customs that they've decided upon. Haku acknowledges that as well. As outsiders, we have no room to voice objection. We simply, we, we're simply to abide by it dutifully. <laughs> 逆なんですか以前のあの子は犠牲として選ばれたけれどその束縛から自由になりたいと逃げ出しましたそ,それでもあの子は逃げようとしてそしてユーマさんはそのお手伝いをしてでも今回のハクさんはあくまでも逃げ出そうというのではなくて選ばれたことを受け入れて進んで最果て。神様の場所へ行こうと言うんですか、yes, right. 
say I decided to choose her. Any other our job this time around is to escort Haku's safe to the place that God has lovingly beckoned her to. <laughs> どうしてだか神様がそこに住まう命を乱獲し始めているとえ神様が何かを起こっているのかそれとも病気になってしまったのかとにかく年に一度たった一人だけを連れ去るはずのこの自然現象がどうしてだか混乱してしまっているのだとそして私たちの世界も他と変わらずこの現象は特別なものではありませんでした冬に雪が降るように真夏に雲が空高く伸びていくようにですが今のところ
この体から私の魂が抜けきる前にこうして一番大切な誰かに手を引いてもらい神様の待つ約束の場所まで送ってもらうこと。That almost seems like a fucking ritual designed to make the person in question just fucking piss off. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, yeah, there we go. The sound. That's the right one. This sounds like some Vault 11 type shit. Like, like it, it just fe sounds like that's what this is coming up. <laughs> this is gonna fucking. This is designed essentially. Like, the truth. What are the five vaults constructed in the border, broader Mojave region assigned to house a civilian population along with Vault 3, Vault 19, Vault 12, and Vault 34? Like, the majority of the vaults. The Vault 11 was given parameters to conduct a social experiment. In its case, after the blast door is sealed, the inhabitants were informed by the Vault computer they would have to sacrifice one of their fellow Vault dwellers every year or else everyone in the Vault would be killed. This was a ruse, as in truth, if the re residents were to refuse, a message from Vault Tech would play, commending the dwellers for their choice, telling them that their commitment to human life is a shining example to us all and revealing that no one would be killed. In addition, they were, in addition, they were to be informed that as a reward, the vault door would unlock, allowing free passage to and from the vault with the overseer's permission. And this continued until there were only like, I think, five people left. And from those last final five Four of them shot themselves. Yeah, the, the, the remaining five vault dwellers wearied the bloodshed that the election had incurred, laid down their arms, and went together into the sacrificial chamber to confront the vault computer and courageously state the refusal to commit with the continue with the sacrifices. They were then left bewildered and horrified when the computer delivered the automated message, unveiling the vault's experiment, being congratulated for the refusal. After the fa Afterward, the five survivors walked to the vault entrance where they apparently made a record of disgusting, discussing committing suicide to punish themselves for the events of the last 16 years and to prevent the outside world from learning about their shameful behavior. However, even then, they were not unanimous in their decision. A man, voice one, tried to convince the other four, three men and one woman, to leave the vault with, while voice two, the woman, voice three, referred to as Harry, four and five wished to die. Voice 1 advocated for leaving the vault and spreading the word of, about what happened there so that others may learn from their mistakes. His pleas went unheard soon as soon after, four gunshots rang, rang out, but one refused, discarding the gun on the floor. The four skeletal bodies remained in the entrance of the chamber for the next 200 years, while it was unknown what happened to the fifth survivor. So yeah, like I said, this sounds like some fucking setup for... Like a Vault 11 type situation. Like, just wait for one to just decide, fuck everyone else. Kami sama no ishi kara nige dasazu, uke irete, mizukara no ashi de soko e mukau to kimeta mono niwa, so yu keishiki ga gimuzuke rare rin desu. Akuma de. Ren remains silent as she leads her mother by the hand. <laughs> 目的の場所に着くまでの間私の手を引く者はただの一度も口を聞いてはいけませんし私と目を合わせてもいけませんそれが私たちの町の規則です This just seems designed to make the person that is forced to, to accompany the sacrifice hate God as much as humanly fucking possible Ren continues walking, her eyes stuck to the ground in front of her. And it's our job to support you, so that you make it to that location without fail. Traversing through parallel worlds is fraught with more dangers than you'd expect. 
We must expo ex escort the required members to the ritual and ensure their safety through the travel. That is our job. Tigre initially began doing this out of the kindness of his heart. However, as he continued to do so, it eventually became a yearly requirement. So, this isn't related to our work as liberators. Something that Chigure himself decided to do, and in normal circumstances, he would be here doing this alongside us. Yeah, that's why I was so worried about doing this without him. But I promised him I would take on all of his managerial duties. There is no one other than me who can do this. That's why I'm just gonna have to do it. Even though this will be the first time going out of a learn. That's why I asked you to come along with me. I need your assistance if anything goes awry along the way. I want Connor to realize clients, those from parallel worlds who make job requests as liberators, they are the ones who are targeted by God, going to the great library of the beyond, but who want to escape from the irrational shackles that are imposed on them. What I want Connor to remember is that is what we told her. There are some who, even though targeted, don't fight against their fate and willingly allow themselves to be whisked away to the beyond. They offer their lives obediently to protect the world they live in from harm. Haku is one of those people. And that was what I meant when I said that she was the opposite. She doesn't see resistance as an option. Nor will she fight to make it one. Okay, the next door should be appearing fairly soon. A second after I speak, it then trips over a large tree root that's jutting out of the ground. <laughs> Stop, Connor, you mustn't touch her. I warn her as she's about to rush to Ren's aid. <laughs> no, we're only permitted to search for the dimensional gate and to deliver the chosen one there safely. That's the scope of our job. Ren was the one who was chosen to lead Haku, so the rules dictate that she is the one who has to lead Haku, the chosen one, to God's promised land. Hence, it would be in violation of the rules if we, as non-involved members, were to step in and help. I mean, technically, God. <laughs> Ren's eyes are filled to the brim with tears, but she desperately tries to hold her emotions back and retakes her mother's hand. Blood quickly begins to well on her grazed kneecaps. Haku says nothing, merely holding onto Ren's palm as tightly as she can. See, this is why being an atheist is better. Ow, in my back. <laughs> what a fucking moment. <laughs> what a fucking timing. Like, declare that atheism is better than believing in any god and immediate back pain. Fucking curse you! Don't you karma me now, god! You know, the Mayans haven't sacrificed anything to their god in fucking millennia, probably, yet I... I'm pretty sure that the earth we walk on still hasn't devoured us whole. That's about the next guy. Speak up intentionally interrupting Kana. I then hold the lantern to illuminate the darkened path. Right, the gate which connects to the next world. You have to reverse through several words in or worlds in order to reach the place where God awaits. The shining feather sent by God guides the chosen soul to the dimensional gates. 
Have the lantern begin to flicker. It, it begins to flicker, indicating that the next gate is near. I don't know. Each time the ride of departures performed, the arrangement of worlds needing to be traversed through changes. That's where we'll just have to take each world as it comes to reach the promised land. Those worlds might be incredibly treacherous locations, or worse, we have no way of knowing what sort of danger awaits beforehand. So whatever you do, don't stray away from us. Yes, I she nods. That is my cue I can push open the gate. The shrill creaking there and noise is reduced in the process. Sure hope we'll be able to complete the journey safely this year. Springtime. This is fast. Stand on a small hill covered in every, on every inch with verdure. Vegetation as luscious green color spreads out in, our, in every direction as far as the eye can see. It's a world populated by a beautiful abundance of nature. The pleasant, mild sunlight streams down incessantly. Kananeris rises, gentle breeze strokes her cheeks. Hmm? She stifles a yawn. I fully agree, it'd be paradise. For a while, we simply stand there in silent awe. Uh, oh, right, sorry, let's get back on track. Quick reminder from Haku pulls me out of my reverie. Time to find the next guide. Hold the lantern aloft. Feathers glow and still pretty dim. I begin to walk off aimlessly. Yuma. I abruptly feel a tug on my sleeve. Hmm, what's up? Yeah. She looks up at the sky, a stiff expression on her face. What's bad? Is there something in the sky? I follow her guys upward gaze upward. She then cries out to me. Huh? Above. Bird. Look straight up. What? I'm dumbstruck. What is that? Up there, high in the sky. Oh, never mind. It's not a bird. It's, uh... <laughs> it's Nebula Man. There's a colossal figure standing there, emitting no sound whatsoever. Its body easily towers hundreds of meters tall. What the hell is that? Where did it come from? He then lifts a foot and takes a step forward. <laughs> Crushed. The giant's foot slams down mere inches from where we stand. We appear to be right in its path. Everybody run! Listen, all you need to do is stand around its foot that it just planted down because it's not going to immediately just fucking... <laughs> do tippy 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 uh, fucking... Step dancing. Probably. Huh? Bottom of the giant's foot is near the size of a whole schoolyard. You have to get out of here and fast. There's no way in hell we make it in time. The giant's foot falls down upon where we stand. I close my eyes. Huh? I brace for the crushing impact, which doesn't <gasps> doesn't come. Hmm. Open my eyes, very, very slowly. What happened? I look up to see the giant si silently strolling away in the near distance, almost as though nothing had just happened. His body appears somewhat transparent. Uh, is everyone safe? Then offers a simple head nod to her face, ghastly pale. She cocks her head to the side with a blank stare. Seems she's utterly confused as to how we're still alive. It's weird, I swear that giant's foot was just about, was just about to crush us. 
gaze at the giant's backside as it slowly ambles away. It does seem to think so much. Things like you? So, just say incorporeal. Huh? Hmm, that could be it. Yeah, that's also why the ground doesn't shake from such a colossal being moving about. Oh, is the springtime of Yuma's youth about to happen then? Say what? Look down at the area on the ground where Shinku's finger is denoting. Flowers bloom on every blade of the virtuous grass. Oh, that's what you meant. Spring. Huh? I look in the direction that Kana's pointing. The giant truly did leave spring equally in its wake wherever it treaded. So. Huh? Wow, that thing really scared me silly. I exhale a deep sigh. I was fully prepared to die by the foot of this unidentified giant be being. <laughs> what the heck? This is kind of bonkers. <laughs> no way. This is just kind of bonkers. <laughs> this is hilarious! I don't know, Shinku. I don't know why, but for some reason, this situation is just so freaking hilarious. It sounds right absurd. <laughs> I laugh. I roll on the floor with laughter. You think I'd eat one of those mushrooms that you put in a, put you in a state of euphoria. Oh, he's on magic mushrooms. That's what's going on. <laughs> oh god, I'm seriously gonna die of laughter. What the heck? <laughs> Look up to see both Haku and Rengen wearing big goofy grins on their faces. Whoops. <laughs> Ren not being allowed to speak is trying for dear life to keep her mouth shut. Springtime makes you laugh your ass off? That's a bit weird. Shinku was not affected by it all, nods inquisitively. Stop! Shinku! <laughs> You're cracking me up! Someone help! This could spell bad things, very, very bad things. This laughter feels nothing like genuine laughter from some funny. It's like the kind of uncontrolled fit of laughter that happens from someone tickling you non stop. This is like a punishment of sorts. My body's at its limits. I swear my sides are about to split in two from all this laughter. That's for how it ends holding up. She's still struggling terribly to keep her mouth shut. This could get bad. If that mouth opens, she breaks the rules of the ritual. That's the worst case scenario for us at the moment. Damn, we gotta fight the next guy quick! <laughs> He's just over here like, what the fuck's happening? I'm scared. Huh? Kana? Oh, the springtime for her is horny time, probably. For some odd reason, she seems unaffected by the spring. I don't know why, but her cheeks are red and she's fidgeting. She steals a few flitting glances at me. You feel weird, but you're not laughing like the rest of us. Her look is incredibly suggestive, but as to what it's suggesting, I have the foggiest idea. 
Yep, there we go. She said what now? So you had a more the cotosa? What the heck was that shit? I'm laughing my ass off. You're, you're kidding, right? This could get really bad really quickly. I have to put a stop to this now. I frantically scan the area for anything that even remotely resembles the dimensional gate. I lift the lantern aside, my arms allow and point in every direction. Gotta fight it quick! I'm sure we'll all calm down and regain our sanity once we're out of this world. As I scour, I spare a sidelong glance at the giant's direction to make sure it's truly gone. Then as I'm facing the south-southwest direction... That's it! Bright be a beam of light jets out from the lantern. It must be over there! Beam identifies a wide grove in one of the massive tree trunks nearby. Nothing? You don't have to do anything! I swallow down a huge amount of laughter that threads escape from my throat. Let's get the hell out of here before we laugh ourselves to death! With that, we all sprinted towards the exit from this world of spring. Unfortunately, we managed to reach it right before our den was about to burst into laughter. Our nerves are steel, were truly commendable. Oh, sure, we can do that. So I had to take a quick break before continuing on the straight pathway towards the next world. Our surroundings are dark, dark and deathly quiet, as we're well used to by now. Even the moon has taken its leave from the night sky. The lantern, however, provides a reliable source of light, tearing a hole through the thick layer of black. Inside the path, on both right and left, are rows of cherry blossom trees in full bloom, whose brightly colored leaves grow faintly amid the darkness. After letting the lantern's light guide us for a while, we settle down on a carpet of fall cherry blossoms. Probably. I've been walking for quite some time. That's a good question. I don't know. It's distinctly possible that I haven't even realized that we're gone. Such an old golden pocket watch from my rucksack. Yeah, uh, this is the watch that she could have used last year. It helps you keep track of the time difference between worlds. It's a unique pocket watch with one large face and another smaller face inside of that one. The smaller clock, see, is set to the current time in our world. The larger clock will automatically set itself to the time of whatever world we're currently in. Right, let's see. It's it feels like we've gone, been gone for ages. But it looks as though a mere 15 minutes have passed in our world since we left. 15 Remember that incident with the fiend, don't you? We spent three days and three nights walking to our destination. And when we return back to our world, only half a day had passed. So this Yeah, that could happen. Throwing up a rueful smile, I shut the pocket watch and returned it to my rucksack. At this rate, though, I reckon we should be able to make it home before dawn at the earliest. Look up at the bountiful at the beautiful cherry blossoms lamenting how awful my body is most likely going to feel come tomorrow. The breeze blows past. The cherry blossoms produce a soft, dream-like rustling sound as they flutter in the wind. Sweet scent then fills my nostrils and seems to gently rejuvenate my body and mind, growing weary after all that walking. Sure, what is it? Kisoku
それについていろいろと考えてみたんですがはいそれは本当なんですかえ誰かの命を犠牲にしないことには神様の世界に捧げないことにはその世界そのものが消えてしまうそういったものがどこかで誰かがその目で実際に見て確かめ立証した何があっても揺るぐことのない決定的な事実なのだとそう言えるんですかそれはどういうことですか私は以前にユーマさんのお仕事を見させていただいたことがあります東屋さんのお仕事です私はハクさんのように最果ての古書店神様の世界に次は君の番だからと指名された女の子が目の前で実際に連れ去られていってしまうのをこの目で見ましただけど誰かが犠牲にならなければ世界は消されるというその規則それは本当に本当に揺るぎない事実なんですか誰かを犠牲にしてまで避けなくてはならないものなんでしょうか実際にハクさんやユーマさんが言うような破壊的な最悪がどうしようもなく降り注いでしまうようなものなんですかそれは事実ですあくまでも私たちにとってはハクさんにとってはそういう風にして言い伝えられてきたんです私たちはずっとずっと古くからおかしいですよそんなのはおかしいだってそれが事実として言い伝えられてきたというのならその世界が消えるという最悪を実際にその身で経験したことのある誰かがいたとそういうことですよねそれならその誰かはどうやって次の誰かに世界が消えるという事実を伝えることができたんでしょうか世界が消えてなくなるのならそういった神様の怒りに実際に触れたというのならその人は次の誰かにその事実を伝えることはできませんよね世界が消えてしまうならその世界の中に囲われて生きているその人も消えてしまうとそう考えるのが普通とまでは言いませんが不自然ではないのではないかとそれはまだ一度も罰則を経験したことのない私たちが一度経験すれば全てが無にキすようなその罰則の内容を語り恐れるのはおかしいと。そういうことですか Again, I would just bring out the fucking, I'd bring up the fucking Mayans again. Have you, do you have any idea how long it's been since k e s a t i p o k a Was that the fucking name? I don't fucking remember. Let me look it up.、Uh, Aztec, not Mayan. I'm fucking stupid, sorry. Tezcatipoca, that's the one.
funny enough, one of the Tetskatipoka is literally just called Tetskatipoka. But yeah, like, no one has sacrificed anything to Tetskatipoka in fucking centuries at this point, yet <laughs> the, the fucking he earth itself has not li nibbled off our feet yet. They like all of them are like have a, a color like they're all like colored Tezcatlipoca and for some reason the black Tezcatlipoca is literally just called Tezcatlipoca Bull, talking is hard. Saying that over and over again is very, very difficult, okay? I don't f fucking you try. Fucking T E Z. The T E Z? Z? It's, it's like a Z as in the last letter and a, then a, a C as in. The third letter, uh, like T E Z C A T L I P O C A. Tezcatlipoca. Try fucking saying that three times quickly in a row. Tezcatlipoca, Tezcatlipoca, Tezcatlipoca. I mean, that was not horrible. It wasn't good, but it wasn't horrible. So this is ]おかしいですよ. ですから私は思うんです。部外者の私が名前共有ようですけれど、それでも思ったんです。もしかしたら神様の意志に背くと世界が消えるというのは思い込みなんじゃないかって繰り返しますが、私は目の前で女の子が連れ去られていくところを見
だからたくさんの世界にたくさんの異常と混乱が起きているのかもしれませんともかくこれが現状です今混乱のただ中にある神様あカナさんの言葉を借りて神様の世界としましょうその場所が異常をきたしているそれはどんなに不平不満を口にしようと変わることのない事実そのやったスランダムスアスファクリトーズ What if it was actually something that Jink was done that actually caused the malfunction in the first place somehow? Like by some indirect means? Like, what if the malfunction of the Divine Sanctum started with the shattering of the moon? So, I was born in the world. I was born in the world. ただそれだけのことなんですそれだけって<笑>これはむしろ光栄なことだと思わなければいけないのかもしれません光栄なこと自分の命で私は私の世界を守ることができるのですからだからハクソンはこんな一方的な理不尽からも逃げ出そうとは決して思わないと。そういうことなんですかそうですねそれなら私からも問わせてくださいカナさんはいもしも私が今ここでヒューマさんにどこか遠くへ逃がしてくださいとそう願いそれが叶ったとしましょうそして私は助かったとしますテンと一緒にこれから先を生きていくことができるとしますでも本当にそれで大丈夫なんですか<笑>古くから私たちの町に私たちの世界に言い伝えられている通りレンの暮らすあの世界が破片も残さず消えてしまったらどうするんですかそれは確かに規則を破って世界が崩壊するその瞬間を体験した者がいるわけではないカナさんの言う通りそれすなわち死である罰則を体験しそれを回避すべき事実として語り継ぐ証人は誰一人として存在しませんだから私を含めて誰一人としてそういった確証的なお話を聞いて育ったものがいるわけでもありませんでもそういった風説が実際にどうしようもなく正しいものだったとしたら really、その時私はどのようにして犠牲になる大勢の者たちにお詫びをすればいいのでしょうか死にたくない消えたくないもっともっと生きていたいそんな私一人のわがままのために犠牲となり消えていってしまった大勢の者たちにどのような顔をして謝罪すればいいのでしょうかカナさんのおっしゃる通りもしかしたら世界は私が命を捧げなくとも明日も明後日もそのまた次の日も閉鎖として続いていくかもしれませんあたしだってそれを一度も考えなかったかといえばそんなのは嘘ですいまだにもってあたしはずっと考えていますあたしが捧げるこの命が無駄となることは本当にないのだろうかとそれならどうしてでも何も起きないかもしれないだなんてそんな危うくもろい不確かな可能性にこの子の未来を託したくはないんです天にはまだまだこの先の人生が長い時間があるんです
私はそれを守りたい不確かにではなく確実にそこだけはどうか分かってほしいんですそれに少なくとも私は私たちはこうすることが正しいのだと信じていますでもでもだからって。Kana hangs her head in frustration, balling her hands into fists as they rest on her lap. I've seen Kana get so emotional before. I consider whether or not it should be stopping her. Eventually, tears begin to well up in Kana's eyes as her emotions flood out. There's some past trauma here. Then keeps her eyes focused downwards, not uttering a peep. She won't even turn back to look at her mother's face, because those are the rules. We should get going now. I gather up my things. That probably wasn't the most relaxing break in the world, but you have no more time to waste. How's your body feeling, Harker? Alright, then let's go. If you start feeling exhausted again, don't hesitate to let me know. The type of walkways hangs over us as we begin our journey anew towards the next world. As I don't run into any complications down the road. I feel the anxiety is beginning to bubble in my heart little by little. I want to escape the depression now. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'm I'm gonna fucking go drown my goddamn depression and goddamn funny videos of booze, even though I don't have booze, bye.